Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra jumping in again. This time we are jumping in as our Crystal Brother and I think I'm going to go for a bit of an interesting build here. I mean first of all we need to unlock crowns, we've not done crowns in this guy but um, we're going to go with the rocket launcher and I'm going to try and get um, I'm going to try and get the mood swing early to make explosions spread flames. I think that could be pretty fun. I think that could be pretty fun, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, Ecstatic Fist is an interesting one early. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Gamma Guts could be good. Tough Shell's very nice. I'm going to go with Tough Shell, actually, I think. I think Tough Shell gives us the best amount of protection. Gotta remember as well, I'm playing Crystal. My ability matters. Most characters, I couldn't give two flying feet about my ability. But this character makes a difference. This character's actually got a very, very, very useful ability that I tend to underutilize heavily um, and I could make good use out of it if I just had the forethought to use it when it's appropriate. Like that for example. Like bashing those bullets right back at him is pretty amazing. We're through to here. What do we want to go for here? Probably a static fists, I think. Obsidian, uh, a, a golden obsidian, not golden. Uh, um, cursed obsidian throwing knife does not appeal. I'll be honest. Now this is actually a horrible area for this weaponry because we're going to miss out on hella rads. The good thing is we can kill stuff pretty easily when we do hit them, but hitting the smaller ones when they're coming at us is a little risky. The boss is here. I see you. Skulkin. Oh, look at this is just an insane amount of little Oh, I'm I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I can't deal with them. I don't have another weapon. Oh don't teleport me. Okay, we we we've somehow managed to make that work. I'll be honest. How? I'm not quite sure. Assault shotgun, I would like to have something as backup. Assault shotgun's pretty cool. I like it. I forget how many things in this, in Ultra Mod, are modded. Like, assault shotgun just seems like it's part of the vanilla game. It ain't. That's a modded weapon. It's wild. It's just such a, it did, it did such a good job of building onto what the game already sort of defined. Um, obviously we're going with adrenaline fuel. It's just insanely good. Um, and... I'm going to go with Patience because we've got a lot of them and try and fish for uh, what I'm looking for. Boiling Veins is obviously one that we're looking for. And that's probably pretty apparent. Plutonium Hunger, as always, and then as I've said previously, a little bit of Mood Swing would be rather nice. I mean, this thing, this, this launcher is good for now, but it will fall off. But I just, I want an explosive run. I want to just mess around with explosives all run. I, I can't hit this guy for the life of me, please. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with explosives right now, despite the danger. Good. good. Cool. Kind of blitzing through the stages right now. Um, I'm going to take Absorbing Pause here. I know I'm waiting for stuff, but Absorbing Pause is pretty good for uh, leveling and healing and ammo and all that jazz. Oh my lord. Little Assassin, you've got to... Get out of here. Okay, sniper, no thank you. I do like the fact that I can kind of shoot nearby walls and get a good amount of kills off the back of that. I don't like the fact that I'm killing enemies that I'm not meaning to kill and losing out on rads because of that. That's not part of the plan, I'll be honest. I'm doing that quite a, quite a lot. Lovely. From that bad boy up again, we'll take a crown here because we are looking to. And I think, oh, mood swing, there you go. I think we all know what crown I'm going to be taking here. If you don't, you're a moron. Ta-da! <laughs> I've never really done a run with this before. But I think it could be quite fun. Obviously, 
does increase my risk of hurting myself quite a bit. But you can see with the burn damage we've got going on, it's pretty interesting. It's doing pretty well. I just I just need boiling veins now to make sure I've got some safety. Because right now, I don't have a hell of a lot of safety. I don't have anything to bring me back or anything. Good to go. Yes, indeed we are. This area is going to be kind of awful. I, I, the fact that I can one-shot those guys is good. But a lot of melee-based enemies getting very close to us. I reckon we are going to have to pull out the shotgun here and there to make sure we don't kill ourselves. I will try to avoid it where I can, but I just don't think it's going to be all that avoidable all the time. The assault shotgun is filling the gap, though, very nicely. Okay, swooping in there. Oh, we got a thingy floor here. I'll take the bounce of flat cannon. Lovely, and we got an inverted area. I'm very much happy about that because I can add some stuff onto my weapon here. Boiling veins, where art thou? I mean, I think taking more HP right now is probably a good call. Back up to 14. I said back up, not being at 14, but you know what I mean. We've reduced our HP from the bigger explosions. Excuse me. Might also be good to get, um, what's it called as well? The, uh, the one where if he touches, they take damage. What the hell is that called? Oh, you just came out of goddamn nowhere, sir. Projectile speed is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's going to be good or not. This should kill him pretty quick. I'm just a little worried about... Oh, it killed him in like three shots. Wow. It was more than pretty quick. Okay, this build has been... I need to, I need to like, pay attention to explosives way more than I currently do, clearly. They are doing us some very good work right now. Especially with Mood Swing in the mix. Which makes them even better. We love it. Um, still not really seeing what I want to see here. I could take Strong Spirit, but I'm going to go with Patience again. Eat Mushroom. I don't know what that does. I've, I'd like to get the rads from the stage first, though, game, so... Give me a hot minute. I'm being a bit aggressive here, but I do have my shielding if I need it, so... I'm not super worried. Right, we'll go. Yeah, I don't even know where this leads, I'll be honest. I've never seen this Eat Mushroom prompt before. Scarier face, you say. Scarier face. I think I'll take that. Uh, and lightning on this thing sounds sounds like a blast. Where am I going now? I genuinely have no idea what that was about. Fortunately, we do not block damage from lasers. Expl... Gatling Bazooka, Explosion Hammer. Yeah, I think we'll take the Gatling Bazooka at least. The Explosive Hammer isn't the best, considering it's the same ammo type. But it does mean that we'll get more ammo drops of Explosive Ammo, which is good considering this thing is now Rapid Fire, which I honestly wasn't planning on. I didn't even think about this as a weapon I could be finding. But clearly, it is, and it has become. Explosion hammer, you can go in there. I didn't mean to... I always do that. I, that's that's one thing about Nuclear Throne that I've, I've just, like, never liked. I've never liked the portals suck you in the moment you activate them. I get it, there's a gameplay reason for it and stuff, but... Just don't. <laughs> How about just not and like let me let me live my life. 
Now, this is my only weapon. I've got to remember these enemies always try and chase the walls. We're all moving diagonal stuff. I need to focus on killing the boss, really, wherever he is. I don't even know if he's spawned yet, to be honest. He might not have done. There he is. Beautiful stuff. Golden car launcher. Oh my god. I think, do you know, I think taking Tough Shell has reduced the amount of damage I take from self-damage with explosions, which is very, very nice. Um, Hyper Assault Shotgun seems very, very good. What the hell's that? Oh, seems pretty good. I'm still going to go with the Hyper Assault Shotgun, though. Still not seeing what I want to see. I guess I could go with Back Muscle, but I think I've got to hold out if I can. Again, I forgot the suckers doing inverted area, so... The inverted boss could be our demise. We'll see. But this has been a lot of fun. I have to say, this is something I'm certainly going to do more often. Especially with Mood Swing. Mood Swing just makes it so much more fun. We got our Ultra. Explosive. I will add explosive to it if you'd like me to. Why not? We got our level ultra. Unfortunately, we didn't get... Oh, no, we did. We got boiling vents. Okay, good. So, let, let's see what we've got going on here. So, we can take plus six max HP, move while shielded, short of shield, shoot while shielded, um... Or move while shielded, sorry. Shoot while shielded, while stationary, increase reload speed, significantly short of shield, deflect projectiles, permanent enemies, um, and then here we've got... Teleport after shielding, um, shielding fires lasers, immune to contact damage. This is tricky. I mean, Fortress is just the obvious choice, I think, but it does make Boiling Veins less important. Um, I just don't use my shield all that much. I'm going to just go with Fortress. It's simple, it's easy. Uh, Kraken is amazing here. Lovely stuff. This is going to be the real test here. Can I beat this boss without our blood weapons destroying all the projectiles? I mean, explosions, I think, do destroy some projectiles, if I remember rightly. But we'll see. We'll see. This guy's a bit tricky, but luckily we do have shielding to, to somewhat alleviate some of the pain points if we need it. Doesn't matter. He's absolutely demolished. There was no chance. There was no chance. One second. We are back. Apologies, I got a phone call from my dad, and obviously I wasn't going to just ignore that. <laughs> but we've, we've got something good going on here. I'm liking this run so far. I'm very intrigued by the possibilities of this. I'm a little wary of sort of what's to come in terms of, like, how we're going to deal with the uh, the future of this run. I'm not entirely sure, but I have hope. I have hope. I think so far, so good. I think the good thing about this is, like, the AoE on it is just with the bigger explosions, the AoE is just so massive. Oh, one of those glee sword guys again. Um, the AoE is just so massive that we're able to deal with, like, a lot of enemies very, very quickly. The only downside is it's pretty easy for us to hit ourselves, even with Boiling Veins, that's not good. Um, and, I don't know, it's just, there's, there's, there's definitely a few things that, we, that could be better with this. Okay, look, we got him, nice. I do like having the tentacles attached to this, though. I do like the fact that it one-shots many of the bosses, too. That's very, very nice. Beautiful. Good, good, good. I'm just thinking, like, what's going to be our next explosive weapon we get now? Because I'm sure there's got to be another one 
ripe and ready for the taking. For the plucking that's going to fit this build just nice. That's a lot of police. <laughs> I just love the fact that we're able to like kill bosses in like four shots like that. That's wild. Bouncer charger laser. That seems decent. Oh, there's maggots on me. I was wondering what the hell was damaging me. Bloody maggots. Ghost blade. Ooh, that's pretty good. We'll take that as a as a random weapon. Explosive blade gun. Oh, that does good damage too. Wow. Oh, wow. Scarier face is really, like, ripping through him as well. But yeah, enemies that can shoot are our main concern, but little enemies like the rats are actually probably a bigger concern, to be honest. They can just get so close to us and force us into rocketing ourselves. Never ideal. Oh, but just look at this. It's, it's just... It's a beautiful run, baby. It's a beautiful run. Luckily, we have a sword here to uh, make up for our mistakes if we get too close to enemies or whatnot. If they get more, more like if they get too close to us than anything, actually. Okay, I have just taken some very bad damage there. Are you not dead yet? There you go. I realize she's going to explode. I'm ready for it. I was ready for it. Give me the health. Yes. We good? We done? We are done. Huzzah. I will get to loop two one day. It's been so long since I've been to loop two. This could be the run. Who'd have, who'd have thought the explosive run would be so amazing? I just, I like as well, like, we've got, now that we don't need the rads, we've got such an ability to just sort of fire into the abyss. Fire at such range. Oh, I've tabbed out of the game. I apologize. That was my bad. I saw the assassin boy somewhere. There he is. Did that not kill him? Wow. Survived a good bit there. My god, the amount of police is egregious. Oh, I'm getting hit by some stupid stuff right now. Ooh, what is that? Auto grenade shotgun. That seems potentially better. I don't know. Maybe it's not. I'm going to give it a go. I think the explosive radius is slightly bigger. The damage is probably going to be a lot less. Dude, the amount of snipers right now is, is crazy. You need to chill on the snipers, please. Thank you. Dude, why is there so many police? Purple is another thing I really don't like. I'd like a crown that just removes purple. That would be lovely. I really uh, do not enjoy the purple at all. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird addition to the game, in my opinion. Feels unnecessary. It's like kind of story-based in a way, but not really what I want to see. Okay, I kind of regret taking this now other than the Gatling Bazooka. I like the Gatling Bazooka more. We have been at a very low amount of health for a while now. I'm kind of getting worried. Okay, we've got an explosive Gatling Slugger now. Let's give that a go. Frost on this thing. Thank you. Good, good, good. Now, this thing doesn't quite have the radius, but I think the... Con the ability to control it more is going to be what's really good about this. Oh my god, I am going to die though if I'm not careful. Oh, why do you have a car? No! You will not kill me. Fuck it, stop with the police, please. There's so many of them, it's too much. Oh, one thing I didn't think about with this thing is the range on it is actually pretty bad. Okay, we definitely need something to alleviate that pretty shortly. Do we not have second stomach? I thought we did. Dude, the snipers. The snipers are just just silly. 
I don't, yeah, I don't think I have second stomach. I thought I did. I can't even get to say, this is whether not having the rocket launcher is awful. I run out of ammo? The hell? Okay, this thing uses a lot more ammo too, apparently. Boom, boom, cannon. Oh! <laughs> I like that. The boom, boom, cannon. Wow. That's quite something. Oh my god, there's so many enemies in very close range. <laughs> Am I still alive? <laughs> this, this weapon's a lot of fun. Not particularly liking the crazy amount of these fellas that we've got coming up here. What? How is there so many? How is there so many? What, what the hell's going on right now? Is it you that's spawning them? Don't know how I lived. Probably should have taken the splinter shovel to be honest. It would have been pretty good. Oh my god. See, this is, this is where, like, you could only ever use this weapon if you have boiling veins. Otherwise, it's pretty useless. Oh my god. It's something to behold. It really is. <laughs> this is stressful. <laughs> I do like the insane speed it kills things, though. Definitely the biggest upside for us right now. Okay, not liking this amount of enemies right here. Oh, bollocks. This is a really bad stage. I just can't see anything. Just can't goddamn see anything. Golden bounce for SMG. That's a pretty good golden weapon. Honestly, the, the enemies that are the worst for us right now... Oh, there you go. We're dead. And the enemies have on death effects. But either way, that was a hilarious run. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.